terrapin has stopped eating for 7 days, has a swollen right eye, and has white spots on its shell. Stay tuned to find out how he is treated. This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topayo Vets. Veterinary medicine and surgery come alive to vet students and pet owners. Terrapin stops eating for a week. Regarding this terrapin's history, the owner had shifted into a new house three weeks ago and her neighbours upstairs still had some ongoing renovation which could have led to some dirt and debris irritating the red yard slider. So what was the problem? In addition to his lack of appetite for 7 days, the red yard slider also had a swollen right eye and was unable to open it. And this is the left eye of the red yard slider, which was normal. There are also some white fungal spots on its shell. But he is still active, as you can see that it will actively flip back when placed upside down. Okay, now the owner says that uh, this is a female now. See the pincer here? The, the first. Now, if I, I would say this is a male. You look at the claws, it's quite long. Huh? Now, if you see a female red ear slider, the claws are shorter about here. And uh, although it be based on the concavity, male is normally the lower shell is concave. Huh? Because the male has to mount the female for, for breeding. But uh, in this case, it is not, not really flat. It's not really level, you can see it's a bit, this part is, is a bit concave. Then also for the male, you see the vent. Oh, you hold this. The vent is here. Now, although although this is not very uh, particular, specific for male, but normally in, in, in a holder, yeah, the, in, in the male, the vent is further away from, the vent is, I show the vent first time, you hand off. One person who will do. The vent, this is the vent where they, they, they lay eggs and pass motion and urine. The vent, in the male, uh, is usually further away. For the female, the vent is about here, nearer to the, to, the, to the back border of the shell. Upon consultation, the vet advised that the red yard slider be hospitalized for at least three days upon diagnosis of respiratory infection. Respiratory infection is the infection of the respiratory tract that is often caused by bacteria. To treat the red yard slider, after weighing him, eye drops were put into his eyes. Then uh, we give the oral antibiotics. Hold, hold, normally we hold vertically. Hold vertical. As well as antifungal cream. The red yard slider was put in a container with water and left in direct sunlight. So now we will do the strange feeding. For the strange feeding, uh, we can we give the critical care. This one is the supplementary recovery food for the six uh, therapy hamster, uh, rabbit like this. And this one is just in a powder form. So it's like the powder form. So for this one. Uh, we need to mix with the water to become a pasty food. We need to add a bit of the calcium and vitamin supplement for the therapies. So now it's ready for the feeding for the therapy. So for the feeding, uh, we need to put the therapy into the water tank. So from the water then we need to bring the therapine out and then uh, we can tickle the sides of the mouth to open the mouth. Okay, so when you can open the mouth, you need to push the strings inside to the mouth. You need to push slowly and put only from the size of the mouth. So after putting the food into the mouth, you need to put back the terrapin into the water for the swelling, swelling of the food. I'm doing injection of the 
no me gusta que tiene es under the skin antibiotics and anti-inflammatory no this one is not so bad some of them they really strong but uh, normally I give subcutaneous don't, don't get the muscle in work ok one side and this side penicillin and B3 will be in conclusion, the final diagnosis was respiratory infection. The swollen eye is the right side. So now you can see uh, no more swellings already. And he opened the eyes normally. The white fungal spots had also subsided. However, the terrapin still had a lack of appetite, hence explaining the need for syringe feeding. Generally, pet terrapins are kept in houses and apartments. Hence, the environmental conditions in the owner's homes are a major factor in a pet terrapin's health. Owners should ensure a balanced diet for terrapins by giving a variety of food and maintain good hygiene of the tank. Usually, when pets lose their appetite for prolonged periods, it means that it isn't feeling well and hence should be taken to the vet as soon as possible so as to diagnose the underlying problem. Thank you for watching this Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video. Credits to veterinary surgeons at Topayo Vets, Dr. Seng Kong Yuan and Dr. Daniel Sing Zong Zheng. Special thanks also goes to veterinary nurses Judy and Kluna Sally and Su Mon Lun, and video editor and intern Janelle Tai. This video is done on 5th December 2018. For more information, head down to topayovets.com slash videos.htm. Thank you for watching!